because I know some people is going to say, nah, that's not true. <clears throat> Your aesthetics as a woman, okay? You can come into an event or whatever and look real cold-blooded, and you're going to find yourself places at that event that the ones that done been working all week, and that they still with their partners. And, nigga, you in the back, you in the green room, you back there eating salami and cheese and crackers and, you know what I'm saying, sipping on this and that and blowing some of that, okay? Just for the simple fact that you're working with what you're working with, okay? These people don't know you from a can of motherfucking paint. But when you're walking around, and especially if you by yourself, if you by yourself, or you with your girls, you're not with a man, and 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 you look a certain type of way. Oh yeah, motherfuckers come up to you. Excuse me. Here's my card. I'm the assistant to so and so, um, and we'd like to know if you know so and so would like to meet you. And is it okay if I get your number or I can give you um, your credentials? You maybe you can come to the back. Or I'll give you a wristband, whereas you have access to, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, they come they come with all the shit in hand, letting you know, okay, look, check this out. So-and-so would like to meet you, and, you know, here's here's a lanyard. Because a lot of times, let me tell you what the fuck they do. Now, somebody come from the back, and they just take a lanyard from somebody else that's already back there. Like a makeup artist or somebody on crew or whatever. Let me use your, let me use your lanyard, I'll be right back. This is some regular shit. Happens all the time. I'm one of them. I've been done this. They'll get a, a lanyard from somebody else, the credentials around, around the neck, okay? They'll get that from somebody out there. When they go out there and they meet you and they're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This woman is absolutely gorgeous. They come up. They come talk to you. A lot of times, it's probably a female. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's a male, then you're going to be like, wait a minute. Hold on. I don't know. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So, then therefore, a lot of times, they will send a female. Okay, but sometimes it will be that motherfucking assistant that will just don't give a fuck and he just coming, you know what I'm saying, the nigga trying to holler too low key. You know what I mean? But you know, ain't no telling who they gonna see it. But when they send the motherfuckers, they already got your credentials so then therefore you can walk back with them. Okay? They're the ones that gonna take you to the back. So when you get to the back, and then therefore sometimes they'll ask you for that motherfucker back, other or the one that they give you is yours to keep. And, nigga, you, uh, like, whatever. You back there eating whatever, smoking whatever, partying with whoever. Nigga, you watching the show from the side, from the back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You looking at the audience and shit and all the lights and, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of them motherfuckers, believe it or not, they got teleprompters up there. Even though they know their lyrics and all that shit, but they got shit up there to where, you know, so they can keep up with shit. It's a clock. Um, it's a clock there's sometimes at the top and there's, you know, those, like, you see the back of the speakers from where you at. Like, if you down there, nigga, I'm front row. Okay, right there, you'll see the back of, like, those speakers and all those little black things. A lot of times, that's a clock. It could be a teleprompter up there as well. It could be a fan up there blowing. So many different things is going on, okay? And it's like, you can't see that from your angle, but when you're from the back or from the side, and you're looking like, damn, you know, nigga, this is a whole motherfucking production. It is cold. It's so many motherfuckers in the back. It's ridiculous. So when you see an artist, there is a whole team behind them that you can't totally just penetrate. So it's not like she went out looking for him because that's not the way that it goes. And a lot of people that are about that life and know about that life know that, nah, she couldn't go out. She couldn't go out and seek him out. That's just not the way that it goes. So with such said, uh, mama... You just should not have exchanged no words with the wife. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. Now, they shit was already on Rocky, already on Goodbye, or whatever they was already on. They was already on that. And so he sought you out. Okay, yeah, I'll go out with you and this and this and this. You know, and y'all, you know, doing whatever, whatever. But it got good to you. And it's like, let me go ahead and let this bitch know what it is right quick. Fuck it, nigga, I'm doing this right here. Now, but see, the thing is, though, that could fuck up y'all relationship between you and him for the simple fact that now he looking at you as a big mouth. Oh, what, whatever we do, now you putting our shit out there. And you damn sure can't go back and forth with my wife, nigga. I'm, we got proceedings and shit to go through. You know what I'm saying, nigga? We got court hearings and all kind of shit. Paternity, I mean, not paternity, but, you know, uh, parental rights. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get visitations and all this kind of shit going on. And 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 you running and, and, and biting at the wind, you gonna fuck it up for his ass. And then she can come through and say, well, you know what? This has put some distress on me, you know, and, and, and this and this and this. And she went on this, and girl. In certain instances, the wives have went back and put lawsuits on the bitches, on the mistresses, on the side. Talking about I had mental anguish and this, 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 and this, this, this. And they charged them bitches with some shit, too. Not only did they get this nigga for his, but they got this bitch right here looking crazy. So, shut that up. Ride it out. Let him take care of his biz now, because this ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? This day shit. Let them do they shit. If he still want to fuck with you, he going to do that anyway. That's just what it is. But understand and know to the rest of y'all motherfuckers. And just like Lala, you know, I think that's some bullshit, too. Niggas is on the war path right now. They want, they want to do them. Let them do them because your vibe is going to bring on your righteous tribe. So let them have that. If these niggas, let them go. If they want to go, let them go. Because if you try to hold on to something that want to go any motherfucking way, it ain't going to never be right. And Because they're, they're not for you. That means they don't give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? That that, that means that they, they're de detached from you. So no, let them go because... Your future and your destiny is not tied to them anyway. And whatever it was that they learned from you, that means that they gathered all that they, they need, that they needed and that was time for them to go. So then therefore, now you got to get closure from within, you know, and see, like I was telling you guys one time before that, you know, my whole thing is worried about being left. Nigga, I'm so over that shit. Oh my God, listen. <clears throat> After that motherfucking video, bitch got the burning sage and all that old type of shit and talking to myself and throwing crystals up and went outside and put one up and all that old type of shit. Nigga, I was cool after that. I guess it was just a cleansing that I needed. I needed to speak it with my own mouth, my own tongue and what my fear was. Now, nigga, get gone. You go, oh, okay, you leave? Oh, okay, no problem then. Thank you. That means that because when I give, I give so much of me. So if you release me, that means that I don't have to continue to give and give you all of my energy anymore and all of everything that I'm giving. So girls, anytime a motherfucker tell you that they gone and they leaving or they just leave, <laughs> you dodge the bullet, baby. Probably literally, I don't know. But let them motherfuckers go. Just that simple. So, but uh, la la, I really feel, you know, my, I mean, everybody felt that. Everybody felt that because it was like you guys are just the cutest couple, you know. And it's like, man, you know, man, that's just is. I mean, I guess it just threw everybody for for a loop earlier part, and it was like, wait a minute, hold on, what, 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 what? You know, it was everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. So I was like, oh my god. So I already know that you was in in, in your mode, you know. But I'm certain Kim and them. You know, because her and Kim and them is all the best of friends and all that all that kind of stuff. Sierra and all of them. All of them is really kind of cool like that. So I'm certain it's a sisterhood that they getting together and they like, you know, because these motherfucking niggas is tripping. Okay? And, and it's like, okay, and it's like all of a motherfucking sudden, all these motherfuckers is going through. Well, all of it's coming out in the open now, pretty much. And then like Mary is talking about Ken do motherfucking ass was trying to, it just blew all the hundreds of thousands on the new bitch. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> you can think I'm doing all I can, you know, to help this motherfucker and all I can to this, 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 and I've been there and I this, 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 and this, this, this. Niggas don't give a fuck. Especially when it comes down to new pussy. When it comes down to new pussy, so don't get mad at the new chick because she's merely a victim. She don't know what the fuck's going on. She don't understand that this nigga's just running the game. You already know, but once you figure his shit out, he no longer wants to fuck with you no more because your third eye is, is keying in on him. So now at this point, you know, he don't really give a fuck about you and talking crazy as a motherfucker now when at one point in time, this motherfucker was really feeling certain things, you know? And it's like, so I'm just looking at these motherfuckers because I even seen a picture that they had of Kim with Kim I'm a, uh, uh, and, and the kids and it was an Easter picture. Y'all go back and look at that motherfucker. Now, she all up on Kanye. That motherfucker, he ain't got his hands wrapped around her. That motherfucker look like he's completely detached. Like, that nigga's a straight robot. Look at that picture. It's been circulating all around this motherfucker. If y'all on her Instagram, go look at it. She posted a picture, and then she got one of her and him together. He's still not hugging her, touching her. He ain't touching her at all. Motherfucker's just gay face. He's just, you know, 
Mental health is real. Y'all don't understand. It's a lot of these men out in this motherfucker that's throw the fuck off. Throw the fuck off. And to save your own motherfucking life, sometimes it's best to just be like, you know, let a motherfucker down easy. Or let them tell you that they're done. Because if some of these motherfuckers, if she tell that motherfucker that she's done, even though he looking detached and look like on some space goes, I was like, look at this motherfucker. Because in the picture, if you look at it, y'all gonna be like, oh, goddamn, auntie said that. Go look at that motherfucking picture. That motherfucker, he's standing there, he, he, he ain't touching the kids. He ain't had his hand on his daughter's shoulder. He ain't holding the son. He ain't got his hand around Kim's waist. None of that shit. That nigga's hands are straight like this right here. Huh? And then she's standing there. She's leaned into him. And the kids are their beautiful children. But you could just tell. When I looked at the photo, nigga, I began to, I began to be a Tyro, Tyro motherfucking reader. Nigga, I looked at the motherfucking picture and all kind of shit came to service. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Kim, no, mama. I mean, but I understand that she loves him, and he probably also has a lot of that narcissist, uh, narcissism going on. And he's probably a narcissist, and he's probably in her head, and she's, you know, gravitating and loving him and loving him and all this kind of stuff, but this motherfucker is a throwed off motherfucker. I say that shit res respectfully because it's not funny. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's a lot of women out here losing their motherfucking life. You know, because these motherfuckers just straight snap. You see this one motherfucker last week, you know what I'm saying? He killed the, old, the older gentleman and all this shit. And he, you know, all this shit because he was tripping on Joy or whatever. Because she probably didn't want to get that nigga no more pussy or whatever. These motherfuckers is tripping. Tripping. Okay? Tripping. So, I'm telling you girls, let these motherfuckers down easy. And when these niggas want to bounce... Let these niggas bounce on their own because that's their mind telling them that they want to go. Or they want to get into some other shit or do some dumb shit, some dumb shit, some dumb shit. That ain't doing nothing but sealing their own fate and, and, and you know, building their karma for what's to come to them. God ain't going to bless everybody in certain type of ways. So, then therefore, you probably going to be missing out your blessing attaching your shit to this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? If you attaching your shit to this motherfucker and God is telling you, you know, put that down. But you're still trying to hold on. Now, you fucking up your blessing. Because you're trying to hold on to some shit that ain't even for you. Or the time has come to where it's time to get gone. So when I looked at this picture, I'm like, oh my God. But, you know, this motherfucker done said and done some crazy shit. And when you piss him off, he's subjected to come out of his mouth real raggedy. And don't give a fuck. Like, that's why I'm saying. As long as he was with uh, Amber, remember that? That nigga was all over, with, all over her ass and all this right here. But once they broke it off... And now she's out having fun and shit. When that motherfucker had the opportunity to say some crazy shit, didn't he say some shit? Oh, I had to take so and so amount of bass, and you know, and this right here, and uh, 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 Wiz, you know, you got you a stripper, and all this whole type of shit, and Wiz. I mean, it's like wow. Listen, <laughs> you see the sister that he was with beforehand. That motherfucker is in the dark, and she's like, "Shit, nigga, I, I'm just trying to heal. I'm just trying to get this motherfucking shit out of my goddamn system." Okay, and now they looking at now here's he with Kim. I'm certain they have a feel a certain type of way in their heart. And I wouldn't be surprised if Kim and Amber do talk from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Besides this nigga. You know, besides, you know, Kim telling him, oh, well, I talked to Amber today. Nah, because to get into some of what's going on with him, she got to go back and talk to some of the women that he used to be with. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you're going to really know what's going on is if you if you, if you and the mom befriend or you talk to some of his exes and shit like that. But be weary of motherfuckers that always talk about what somebody done done to them. Be weary of that shit. Oh, well, my ex did this and she did this and she lied this and she did this and she did this. But they ain't telling you what the fuck they did. They telling you she did this and she did this and she did this. It had to be a reason. You know what I mean? So just be cognizant of this shit, ladies. It's a lot of shit going on. And as you guys seeing it now on the news, this shit every motherfucking day, every week, these niggas is going haywire because bitches don't want to fuck with them no more. And bitches done moved on. And these motherfuckers is going irate. Here yesterday, a mother of six, Long Beach, they caught this bitch. They found her in the motherfucking motel in Long Beach on Long Beach Boulevard. Shot the fuck up. Yesterday. Okay? Yesterday. I don't know what she was doing at the motel because her family members was all 
on the news crying and all that kind of stuff. That ain't came out as the why the fuck she at the motel. You know what I'm saying? On a random ass goddamn Thursday night. You know what I'm saying? On a random Thursday night, you got six children at home, but you at a motel? What the fuck? So whatever it was, you couldn't do that at the house because it was so many motherfucking kids. So you went up there and y'all niggas got a room and was doing y'all, but it didn't turn out right. You know, and then they were saying that the man that came out of the room had all red on or whatever or something. Did they, or is that a different story? That might be a different story because motherfuckers been getting got, gotten shot all week long. Motherfuckers in Pomona and all, man, it's been, oh, I was like, oh my God. Motherfuckers is tripping right now. <laughs> Baby, it's sometimes it's best to stay in the motherfucking house. I ain't trying to fuck with nobody because I don't need no, not now motherfuckers come fucking with me. Nigga, if you don't want to fuck with me no more or whatever, then nigga, go, 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 go. Don't come back fucking with my family and my home and my kids and shit and all that old type of shit. Because these women is going through right now. These motherfuckers, is, the men is the ones that's going crazy. You know, at one time it was like women going crazy and tripping out and all that shit. Now, if you see this shit, nigga, almost every motherfucking day on the news... Now, they had this one woman, she called the police, and he, this this guy, he was trying to stab her. And I think in the mix of the fight or whatever, she kind of got stabbed in her shoulder somewhere, they said, around up in here or whatever, because they was tussling or whatever with the knife. Somehow or another, I guess she uh, locked herself in something that she called 911. The police come out, okay? The police telling this motherfucker, put your weapon down or whatever. He lines at the motherfuckers, and they shot his ass. Just here a couple nights ago, again. It was a domestic dispute, and she's she's going to survive because they were saying that what she had was, you know, she stabbed up, but, you know, she was a, she had enough strength to get away from him, to get in the bathroom or wherever she was. Nigga, I was like, damn, this was a motherfucking movie. Nigga, she, how you just grab your phone and go in the bathroom or whatever and lock that motherfucker? You had all of this. God took you through that. He, could, he took you through that motherfucking shit. Because this motherfucker, who, whatever, you can tell must have been real tough. The way, because the neighbors were saying that they were hearing a lot of screaming. And, you know, a lot of screaming was going... I don't understand that shit. If, I'm telling you right now. Now that I done seen this shit, and I done seen this shit firsthand now, too. Anytime y'all see a woman going back and forth and having an exchange with a man out in public. And this motherfucker is going ridiculous... Call the police, please. Call the police because she might not have the strength to do so. You know what I'm saying? Call the motherfucking police, please. Because just like on this shit last night, they was talking about they was hearing all these screams and all this kind of stuff. And they was, um, you know, and I'm like, well, damn. If she's screaming in the apartment, then therefore, y'all motherfuckers ain't calling the police? What the fuck's going on? You know, but her strength took her to the bathroom, locked the door, called the police. Man. They end up killing that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? End up killing that motherfucker. So, I'm telling you, right now we are in an era we're go it's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? And after I did that, the videos that I did the last couple of weeks, you know, I was really venting on a lot of really, really things uh, that have transpired in my life. 100 shit. You know what I'm saying? That I can't take back now. You know, I was getting phone calls and text messages and stuff about the shit that I said on there. But it was real shit and it was raw. And that was what I was feeling. This is, this is my motherfucking truth, okay? This is my motherfucking truth right here, you know? And for me to eradicate and remove that from the existence, from my existence, my you know, my current situation, what I'm feeling right now, I don't live there no more. So I had to release it and that's the way I did mine. You know, I got to talk this shit out and blow this shit out. <laughs> some people, you need to write it all down. And there's some things that I need to write down, too. Write some shit down outside uh, and take that shit outside and take, uh, take a lot of to it and burn it up. So you can release that shit. Okay, whatever it is. Uh, this, 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 this. Write that shit, whether it's a narrative or you, one, uh, insecurities. Two, weight issues. Three, control issues. Whatever. Write that shit down. Piece of paper. Take it outside. Burn that shit. Burn it up. So, and therefore, you can release it. 
and be like, you know, this no longer serves me. I'm, this is not where I'm trying to go, okay? I'm cool. I, I'm not trying to do this anymore, you know? Because just like, you know, me talking about, you know, my past, you know, that's a transgression with me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't a good thing, you know, to to um, to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? It's a moral issue, you know? Even though I was like, well, just one more time, you know what I'm saying? Shit, because it was all happening on pretty much that, that same day or night or whatever. It's like, oh, for real? Well, how come you didn't tell me all of this? Well, hell, we already about naked, about ready to do this. Okay, well, then hell, shit. One more time, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, but that, that, wasn't, that wasn't hot. Nigga, that wasn't hot, nigga. And from that moment, it was karmic. Because I got my just deserve after that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I paid the price for it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can speak on it. So, yeah, you can do shit if you want to and be out here and be showboating and gloating. And when it's time for that shit to turn the fuck way back around, it's going to hit your motherfucking ass on some shit that you ain't going to be ready for. So, yeah, you can do all the shit to motherfucking and treat motherfuckers a certain type of way. But when it's... Cash next door trying to get some pussy. But when you uh, do this kind of shit to people, it's going to come back around on your motherfucking ass. And when it come back around, a lot of times it don't come back with no bow and shit attached. It don't come back sprinkled with motherfucking pixie dust and the shit be coming with a meal with it. it, it... Ain't that what I thought? You hear my dog, he like, get man. My dog is like, she... They always be out, be out there trying to get some pussy all night long. I said, damn. And I think they brothers and sisters. I like, damn. Animals is crazy, shit. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, it's kind of cold now. I can't fuck with this no more. So, anyway, y'all. Yeah, man. The news has been crazy as a motherfucker, man. Motherfuckers is just... Relationships. Motherfuckers is going through relationship turmoil right now. But, like I said before... Um, retrograde is going to go direct around the 3rd of May. At that point in time, I know for me, you know what I'm saying? Look this shit up. This ain't some shit I made up, okay? And really, as, as, as it's been said, that you ain't supposed to really be signing no contracts or making no form of commitments and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm just being obedient to what, whatever. I'm allowing whatever to come and go as it shall, please, whatever, you know, because I'm just respecting, I'm respecting my path, Okay. And, um, but I'm going to seal this shit off with this motherfucking Earth Day.